Hey everybody, Joseph here. Welcome back to some more F1 2020 in my team career mode. And here we are, we are just before the race here. Um, someone in the comments wanted to know how many wins I do, or do I have. And Mickey, this is for you, my man. Um, I will show you how many wins. Um, there it is. <laughs> I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 wins out of 18 races so far and uh yeah so there you go <laughs> that's how many uh wins i have um wait if i do this this will be a penalty right and a penalty yeah absolutely not um I thought I did fit that properly, but I guess I'll fit those for next race and we'll be good to go. I'll do that one, I'll do that one, I'll do that one, and then we'll be good to go. All right. Um, I guess I could do the engine as well, so it's good, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, after this race, we got uh, three more, and that is it. And then we can uh, get to the off season, do the off season. And then start the new year, which I already know what I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to know, this is what the R&D department looks like. Um, I did have like five, like five thousand resource points, but I I had to like do some upgrades into here. Um, for this department, for some reason, I only needed to do this upgrade, this, this, and this to uh you know to, to to apply the resource point so i don't lose it for next season which is kind of weird because i most of my upgrades are in the engine and the aerodynamics and chassis so it's kind of weird on that one but whatever i'll still take it and um so yeah man it's it's so right now Mercedes did pass us in the engine department. So that's kind of, okay, I didn't know that. No wonder they were catching up to me sometimes. Um, and for here we are second. Well, actually we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be like fourth from last after that's up or maybe like fifth or sixth from last. Um, and then for here, yeah, we are, we'll be third last more than likely. And then for this one, we are dead last, which is not good. I do want that dribbly up there. So I'm probably gonna start focusing on this a lot more because durability is good to have, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this race and see what happens, everybody. I'll see you all there. Welcome once again then to the United States Grand Prix here in the magnificent city of Austin. It was here in 2018 that Kimi Raikkonen delighted the world by winning for the first time in 114 races. There's always a record to be broken, so what I wonder is in store for us today. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas, overtaking opportunities into turn 1 and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track and we should see average lap speeds of around 126 miles per hour. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's talk about Joker. What a season they've had. A well-deserved championship victory and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. I agree it's been a truly impressive season, but championship or no, I don't think they'll be gently cruising around to the finish line. In fact, with points no longer a concern, there's a lot less to risk so we may even see a more aggressive approach. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Joker lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Albon, Sainz, Fiat and Lance Stroll, Gasly, Norris, Esteban Ocon and Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Nick De Vries and Daniel Ricciardo, Grosjean, Perez, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the last. All right, there it is. 
I noticed that there's not a single American in this uh, uh, this F1 grid. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> it really is. But there it is. Um, so the wins don't really matter for me anymore, but they do because of my sponsors. Um, for my sponsors, to my sponsors, I gotta at least qualify. Like, well, not qualify, but um, I gotta finish, like on podium. So, so let's take a look at their strategy. No one, he doesn't want to talk to me at all. 16.3, uh, no, we'll just, we'll just go 16. Just go 16, car setup is uh, just, just a balanced um, setup, which is probably not good. Um, I should have gone with the preset before that one, with the more downforce for the turns and stuff, because this there's a lot of turns on this track. And that's going to really uh, screw me over, so um, we will see. If I, if I go to softs, Yeah, I want to pit on lap seven, obviously. Don't know why I wouldn't. Uh huh? No. Everything should be good to go. Well, I'm not gonna pit on that lap, but I'll, no, I don't want to keep adding. There we go. Jesus. There we go. I almost messed that up. All right, that's good to go. Let's get to race day. And uh, yeah, let's go, baby. Sip my Gatorade here. All right, let's have a nice good race here. 14 laps. See what we can do. It's those turns that mess me up every time. So it's nice to know that Mercedes has a faster engine than mine. We're looking good so far. All right, Hamilton, let's dance again, buddy. Oh, he went for the pass on the inside. You sneaky little bugger. Metal, I swear to God. Damn turns again. Now Bettle's right behind me. I want to stay in DRS range with Hamilton. So obviously I'm going to try and do that. D 
ER, no ERS, really? That's dumb. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Stupid turns again. We're accumulating some wear on the MG UK. Uh. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. I don't have DRS. That's just dumb as shit. We have a very worn out MG UK. Our battery charge speed is suffering, and if it gets much worse, we could be forced to retire. Hey, just shut up about that already, because I already know. Don't gotta tell me something I already know. your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. Uh. Oh, I took that way too wide. Oh my god. DRS for this. Oh, I do. Never mind. You're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Go, go, go. You'll be racing on the exit. Go, go, oh, great. Verstappen's ahead of me. Thanks. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. You for step. Oh, my God. Guess my controller can't move faster than the fucking game.
0.8 seconds. Oh, am I gonna get stuck behind? Oh, I yeah. am. I need that podium finish. There's six laps of fuel remaining. is Vettel and he's in second. But all I gotta do is keep Bottas behind me for like, you know, three, four laps. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Shit, that was a miss. Uh, Shift there. I am running Rich Mix all the way to the, for the rest of the race, so hopefully that does help. Charger is on his last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. Alrighty. Our gap to the car in front is 1.5 seconds. I don't really care about the gap in front. I care more about the gap that's behind me. I gotta be careful about my ERS because it's ready to go any second <laughs> or any moment or anything. Hello, rival. 
There's three laps of fuel remaining. That is perfect. They just pull away so fast from out of that corner. It's ridiculous. It really is. Now he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Just like that. Bodice is way behind me, so I got third place locked in. Which is very, very good. I'll take third. Nothing wrong with okay, third. Good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. That's it then for another magnificent United States Grand uh. Prix. And they've hung on to take a sublime victory here today. Tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The Ooh. driver did everything that was The Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. I know, I'll need to be up there already. Got the championship secured, Despite baby. the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you I say the is second a contender for driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion well, may so be much the, for the constructors, point, they pulled way ahead now. No he's a way of deserving of his reputation. So. All respect to the fans' <laughs> choice. They fully deserve it. But, it didn't... but, right, all right. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Joseph. Hope you all did enjoy. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.